everyone, I'm filming another haul. So today I want to share Jackson's a haul that I did. I think I'm trying to think. This might have been two packages I got, or is that one package? Doesn't really matter. So basically, um, I made two orders uh, following some online courses that I have been taking and um, wanting to expand my artistic creativity. And also, while I was on the website, I noticed they had um, like um, items on sale, and that's why I wanted to get this uh, video out to you as soon as possible. And um, so the items that were on sale were these twin tip markers by Jackson's, which are water-based ink, orderless and non-toxic, one millimeter bullet nib and two millimeter fiber tip for fine and broad mark making. So they sounded like those um, markers that we like to use for like watercolor effect. Um, so they were half half like price I think I got them for 10 quid and keeping in mind there are 16 of them and they're double nibbed um, I think it's a fantastic price and they also come in this beautiful shaped um, um, box which means it takes up very little space so here is the nib uh, and this is the one that I really like using in watercolor uh, abstract so that's that. Uh, I will do a swatch out like a separate video for you so that if you're interested you could maybe get your hands on it. The other thing that was discounted was um, these. So these are the pastels by Sennelier. Sorry if it's a bit noisy. We are all in the same situation where we're all at home including our kids, of course. Um, yeah, so these are the Sennelier oil pastels. Now, I have been kind of eyeing this set for a, uh, for a while, and especially the set which is portrait set. I can't see. Does it say anywhere portraits on here? Oh, here we go. 24 portrait assorted colors. Yeah, so these colors are here on the side and I wanted to try them out again because I'm currently expanding my art knowledge. Um, I tried oil pastels before, I have oil pastels but I really wanted to try the Sennelier one because I like the color scheme and I've seen a lot of artists um, like mixed media artists when they use pastels it seems to be always Sennelier so I thought let me give it a go as well. I also got a couple of individual colors that were not included in the set that I wanted to have. And uh, let me just get a little dish. So I'll just keep mine in this dish for now. I love how everything is packaged and obviously you can, you know, if you're traveling and you want to take a few pastels, and, you know, you can maybe do that. Um, yeah, so also Jackson's like had no delays both times. I made orders that came really quickly. And if you're obviously now, you are, not if, <laughs> stuck at home. And if you want to order some art supplies and get going, then I highly recommend them. Okay, so um, here we go. Do, 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 do. So this color is, is it written yellow deep? Yes, it's yellow deep, uh, sap green light, turquoise blue, and tailor blue. Okay, so those are the extra colors. And then I'll just show you, I'll do a swatch video possibly and like a separate review video for these lovely there we go. I just love the colors. They're just so, so beautiful. And look at that. So great for inspiration as well. Oh, look, someone is keeping them like that in a little box. That's a neat idea as well, because you can see all the colors like this. Okay. And then there's, I guess, more info on the oil pastels right here. These might might be the vintage ones from the or the original ones. 
Okay, so here are all the beautiful colors and I'll just show you. So I've got a blue here, which is not included. So this is a 222. The blues that you have in the set is 229, 227 and 226. So that's another one and obviously turquoise is not included. And then in terms of green, there isn't a single green. So I went for my beloved sub green. This is a light color. Yellows, there are a couple of them, but this is a very light one, which is something 21. The one I got is 20. And there's a couple of what looks like ochre. Yeah. Um, so yes, I've got beautiful grays here, beautiful nudes. Can't wait to play around with them. Beautiful pinks. Look at these colors. Gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, very, very excited. Okay, swatch video to come. Um, also from Jackson's, I have ordered <clears throat> their, um, their, like, catalog. I'll show you. So their catalog on pastels, just um, it's a great way to get inspired. I love their photographer. They are super, super, um, actually the photographer reminds me, it might be the same one. I, I haven't checked, actually I should ask them next time. But it reminds me of the same photographer from this book, Chromatopia. The style is like pretty cool. Um, and so I'll link this book below if you haven't seen the review. I've got a book review for it. If you want to see, I'll put it here up in the card for you to have a look. Um, yeah, so the photography is great. Even if you're not, you know, uh, planning to buy anything, just to tear up some of these pictures and use them um, in some collages. The paper is very nice. It's, it's thin. It's kind of like, has a feel of a, maybe like a rice paper or like a um, something like that, you know. Look at those imagery, they're really, really good. And always there are so many things that are very interesting. Sometimes there are some illustrations as well. Um, so, great way to get inspired. And so that's what I, I wanted to have a look. I'm not going to be expanding my pastel collection for sure, um, because I find pastels very messy to work with, but uh, just looking at them and getting familiar. Okay, so that's that. The other thing is um, I ordered this fixative uh, to go with the Sennelier oil pastels and I got another one free. So I wasn't sure whether they had like a promo where they would have sent you one in, in any case when you ordered the set. Um, but I got two now, which <laughs> I think they will last me a lifetime because I'm not using oil pastels that often. So, yeah. Um, so that's that. And then I got a few things for texture. And I've got a brush as well. So this brush I already started using. That's the Raven 10-0. So the one I had was the 3-0, which I really enjoyed um, using. But I wanted the 10-0, which originally was... Um, out of stock and based on my first uh, Jackson's brush that I tried and fell in love with the quill brush 10-0 I wanted that 10-0 in the Raven so I was happy to finally get it I've been using it and it's just perfect like um, yeah just great for everyday kind of um, things to do like you know maybe swatches or just some easy casual watercoloring this size works better for me. Uh, um, I love this size for more kind of watery washes, uh, but if it's a bit too watery, then the 10 zero is great. Okay, so I got that. And then um, the, the other thing for watercolor texture, this one is a little sponge for texture. I actually have heard and seen these sponges being used so often and never ever tried myself. So I am quite intrigued um, to kind of create some textures with the sponge. So as you can see, I'm very much into textures at the moment and expanding um, into new boundaries. Uh, so 
Here is something we already played with my son, so I ordered this little scraper tool and you can use it, well he's been using, my son has been using it with watercolors, after watercoloring he just used it to create texture, but this can be used with acrylics as well and yeah, so that's why I got it and um, this one actually was by Princeton, I didn't know Princeton also did tools like that. Then we have final three things, all um, sort of the same in the sense that they're all for texture. So there's a little one. So this one has a very fine tip and I was hoping for very kind of small like toothpaste, uh, toothpick almost. It, it probably won't be as, as thin as a toothpick but very close there and it has an angle so you can uh, create wider lines. You can just work with a tip for thinner lines. So it's quite versatile and this is the Angel Chisel Soft number zero and it's by Color Shaper Royal Sivarege UK. Okay, so a little uh, tool there. Then there is the Pro R. So these are quite affordable and they were really good because the price is really good and then you get five of them in there and they're also kind of texture based. I'll just open them now. <clears throat> so I like the handles, they're matte, they're beautiful color and they just kind of feel like raisin. So really comfortable. I like that they are short as well, so I like working with short handles. Um, so you have, all of them are size 4 by the looks of it, and you get, they're called color, applica uh, um, color applicators, so they don't have any specific names to them, but basically here are the shapes and you can just experiment with them. You can see it's chiseled and kind of cut. Um, so you can probably pull, create thicker lines, um, play around. One that I had similar was this one. So this one kind of has a caved in kind of, uh, instead of a straight angle, you can see it. Which way? There we go. Uh, and, oh yeah, so this way you can see it. And um, yeah, so that's the only one I had similar to that, but it was super, super old. The one I had is like 20 years old. And then a couple of other things. So again, here is a really super pointy chiseled on both edges. There's one that's straight like this. And then finally this one, I guess is to mimic maybe like a pencil or something. So you could maybe try and roll it if you want, or I don't know. So just playing around. And then finally this one, I didn't expect it to be so super long, but having seen some artists use it like that, I guess it makes sense if you want to work on larger canvas and you want freedom in your hand and just let it go, then you will hold it like that and then just work with your brush. So if it was short, It'd be quite difficult to do that with. Um, this one is again by Princeton and it's the Catalyst. So the same brand as this little scraper. This one is silicone, so this one is hard. I was hoping this to be silicone, but it's hard um, plastic. This one is silicone, so you can really create loads of lovely marks and pull the paint. Um, again, you can work with watercolors, all of these tools, as well as um, acrylics. So that is it for today. I hope you found it somewhat inspiring. And thanks for watching and see you soon.